Punch from left to right, bears from right to left. The puck is dropped underway in Syracuse. In 10 seconds, there's no score. Colby Williams drops it off at his blue line. Magali gets a re quick return feed, now it's stripped away. Here comes Lynch, shorthanded, one on all, Lynch. Delays back, hitter goes wide. He draws a penalty, will it be a penalty shot? Now they call it, it is a penalty shot and the crunch will have the opportunity. 13.39 left in the first. Sell the righty shooting, Kevin Lynch looking for goal number 10. He picks up the puck, goes in against Phoenix Copley. Between the circles, Fakes, back hitter just missed it. He got it through the legs of Copley and it just missed the near post. And so, no scoring on the point. Crunch get possession though, here they come two on one. It is Alex Volkov and Kevin Lynch. Volkov left side at the circle, feeds it in front, a shot was stopped. Copley with a denial on Lynch. Great setup, power play is over. Excellent opportunity for Kevin Lynch though. At that point, Ben Thomas fishes it free, finds Stevens left circle, pass across. Pekka couldn't quite tee up the one-timer, has a second chance, stuff attempt is denied, now the whistle blows. The puck went in, the red light goes on, but the whistle was being blown. And so it looks like no goal, there's a push and a shove. Alex Volkov is being attacked, now everyone coming together. Five crunch players and four bear players converging, Copley's in there as well. It is Colby Williams who is Tying up with a crunch player, can't see who it is yet for the crunches. A couple of rights being thrown though, and a takedown here, a couple of body blows. Again, I don't, haven't seen who it is for the crunch. Williams is in for the fight, and Siegenthaler in for the minor penalty. First fight of the career for Alex Volkov, by the way, as we're underway here in the second. Sport drops a pass, right circle for Simpson. Cross ice, left circle, a shot kicked away. It was deflected up out of play, got the uh, stick on it, did Budai. Came across and just got the stick on it. He flexes the stick to make sure it is still in one piece, and it was. Excellent save on a chance with the left wing circle. Aaron Ness to the right point, Chris Bork. Center point now with 1.15 to go on the power play. Wayne Simpson right circle, delays, feeds it down. Lowest shot, stop the rebound, goes in. It's a power play goal for the Bears. Tyler Grayevac on the loose puck. It was a deflected puck initially, and Grayevac pokes it into an open net. The Bears have a 1 0 lead. 17 09 left of the second period. Gets down low, hands it off for Dumont. Spins around, good pass, high slot, Bodie across. Joseph delays, has room, fires, he scores! Power play goal for Matthew Joseph, and the game is tied. 12.04 to go in the first period, in the second period, and Joseph snipes home a power play goal from the right wing circle, and the crunch have tied it. Dumont will take the face off against Sill, and the puck is dropped or underway here in the third. Tie game at one between the Crunch and the Bears. It's left wing side to the blue line. Left circle again. Fires it across. Joseph, a one-timer, is kicked away by Copley. He had a wide open net and he shot it right back into Copley. Oh, he had a gaping net and he just threw it off the pad of Copley. The year that Hartford has traded its captain mid-season. Last year was Crunch defenseman Matt Bodie. Left wing side pass in front. Condra shoots and a save by Copley. It's a little redirection by Condra and Copley got the pads on it. Line Couldn't quite get it in deep. Crunch make a change, but here come the Bears. Grayevac at the right circle. He's got a trailer. It's Ness, a shot. He scored. Aaron Ness with 6.38 to play. The third period gives the Bears a 2-1 lead. Sloppy change for the Crunch. On in the trapezoid. Near side corner. Finally, Joe Whitney lifts it clear. And it's a potential breakaway for Grayevac. He's in on goal. Shoots. Saved by Budai. He's got the puck covered. Peter Budai with a terrific save on Tyler Grayamack who went in on a breakaway. Left wing side, Bordemont with 2.09 to go in the third. Now Dumont, he gets tied up, plays it in front of shot, stopped, another chance also stopped by Copley with 2.03 to go in the third. Couple of good looks through the crunch. Pass to man to the red line, into the offensive zone, he splits the D, Joseph fires and a save by Copley. Oh, Joseph just blew past the defense. Inside point of all, tries to center two seconds and one, and that is it. Final score tonight is Hershey two and Syracuse one. The seven game point streak for the crunch comes to an end.